Hello, this is Alpha Computing, and this is a quick how-to on taking your programs with you. Maybe you move around internet cast quite a bit, and you might want to take your own browser or your own image editor with you to do some work on other people's computers. You may probably not have programs you want. Or maybe, in your business, you might not be allowed to install anything on your computer. But now with this program at portableapps.com, you can download the software and any open source software that is in their library can be downloaded to your portable USB drive and can be used on any computer that USB drive is plugged into. It's a fairly straightforward program and it's just a download and install. That's it, very simple. Now I'm going to walk you through it by going to portableapps.com, link also in the sidebar. And you want to hit the download now button. You have three suites here. You have the standard suite. By the way, this is all free, obviously, and open source, I believe. So you get the light version, which is just what you need to actually run the software. And you get the light suite, which gives you Mozilla, Mozilla, Mozilla. You get antivirus, you get pigeon, and all what you see there. And then the standard suite, which you get just about everything you get openoffice.org I'm going to download the light version here and it will redirect you to sourceforge.net which is where all open source applications and programs are hosted and so here it is downloaded see it there click and run the program choose your language you can choose from the following languages as Afghans, English, Espanol, French, and so on. Hit OK. And you can begin installation. You can click Next. Now, don't skip this part. Hit Browse and select your USB, which is in Computer, and select My USB and hit install and now we can launch portable apps and it will launch in your taskbar as you see here and you get this portable apps window which you can also move around remove my recording back up to the top here and open portable apps right back up and you see, in the light version, we have absolutely nothing. But what we do get with portable apps is we get documents and filing systems, and also backups. And now I'm going to show you how to actually install software on portable apps. So back to the portable apps website. This time, we hit applications. And we see here the library of the available applications. Most of them are open source, except for those that write freeware next to them, which are also free. No need to worry about that. And so, I'm going to download. As you can see, there's many, even very large programs available for water apps, such as Blender Portable, which is a advanced 3D modeling and animation sweet thing which is also open source so I'm just going to download Google Chrome Portable and you get the download link here hit download this is version 3.0.195.33 of Google Chrome and it's ready so hit that click run select the language English OK Next, accept the terms and license. Next, and make sure you have your portable apps directory selected. So it's your drive slash portable apps slash that file name. And we're back. It has now installed Google Chrome on the device. So I'm going to hit finish and hit portable apps to come up. And here we go. 
we have one application installed and all we have to do now is click it and here we go Google Chrome is now completely loaded up in all of its aero glory you see all of the aero theme is working now and if we go to about version 3 and this is now fully functional and you can also browse securely since everything is saved on your USB and not on that computer you are using at that moment which means you can also use this at your business and everything will be completely synced and you can go home plug it into your computer all your bookmarks will be there reading off your USB and that's how simple it is to run an app portably with portableapps.com your digital life anywhere link also in the description and also to read this in post form on my blog alphacomputing.net link is also in the description feel free to email me about any tech support review anything you want really at alpha at alphacomputing.net or maybe you just might want to follow me on Twitter I mean that's what people are doing these days so that's twitter.com slash alpha computing or you know what just google alpha computing all one word and you should get a few results like alpha computing.net twitter.com slash alpha computing my tweet down here and a bunch of other crappy companies that use my name or I use their name so hit the subscribe button and enjoy all my videos. Thanks for watching. Alpha, signing off.